Hey guys, Dino here, just out and about, out on a different bike today, just taking my wife's bike out, Leanne's bike, her little Harley Davidson Street 500. Hasn't been out for a little while, so I thought I'd take it for a bit of a spin, do a bit of a basic review on the motorcycle. This is a 2019 Harley Davidson XG Street 500. She got this bike brand new in 2020. So it's coming up three years old. It's only done just over 9,000 K. These bikes were released in 2014 and they were in production right up until 2021 was the last year that you could buy them. For the New Zealand market, these are a LAMS approved motorcycle. So what that means is you can get your learner's motorcycle license on these. So I'll just go through a few specs. So they are 498cc V-twin engine, liquid cooled. The fuel tank takes 13.1 litres, has mid controls, cable clutch, six speed gearbox, belt drive, single disc on the front wheel, single disc on the rear wheel, ABS brakes, has the old school rear shocks. You can actually adjust these, you just need a tool to wind them around to so these various settings. At the moment, these are on the softest setting for a light rider. The seat that I have on it at the moment is the stock seat. Uh, the one Leanne uses is called a reach seat. She's five foot two, so that reach seat's ideal for her. Analog speedo with a digital readout. So just scrolling through, as your kilometres, 9,400k. Trip A, trip B, clock. And it also has the gear that you are in and a rev counter. So it's all fairly simple, standard sort of stuff. So being a Harley, there's quite a few accessories you can get for these bikes. You can get a detachable windscreen that fits to the forks. This one has a detachable bag rack. You can also get the detachable passenger backrest with the rack included. They do come with a security system, a mobiliser and alarm. Let's start it up and see what it sounds like. So it does sound uh, fairly quiet. It has got the stock muffler on it. But you can also get a wide range of aftermarket slip-on mufflers to make it sound louder. Rightio, let's take it for a bit of a road test, see what she rides like. Right, let's try off-road first. Yep, nearly spun out. So I've already ridden it about 60k to get here. Um, she's actually quite a fun little bike to ride. Obviously a lot uh, huge difference from my street glide, but nice and light, a lot quieter. So this little bike actually reminds me uh, a bike I used to own many moons ago, back when I was a teenager. I had a Yamaha XZ400, so that was a V-twin. So probably similar size to this one. So I'm actually pretty impressed with how this uh, bike rides. It's, uh, well you could classify it as a cruiser because you are in an upright riding position, so it's fairly comfortable. So I think the net weight is about 233 kg. So it's a pretty economical little bike. 
Um, it just takes 91 octane fuel. On a full tank, you'd get around the 350 to 370 Ks out of a tank. Uh, to be safe, if you're going on a, a trip somewhere, maybe around that 300 mark you'd want to fill up. There is no fuel gauge, but there is a low fuel light. So a little trick is when you fill up, if you can remember, clear that trip back to zero, and then you'll be able to tell how many kilometers you've got left in your tank. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed my video. Um, yep, so I can recommend the Harley Davidson XG Street 500 for a good learner's bike or someone that just wants a bike to commute to work each day. So this would be fine in rush hour traffic. It's uh, small enough that you could um, easily lane split and economical and reliable. They've been around for a while, so there'll be lots of parts for them now. Now, the only thing is if you can actually find one, because like I said, they stopped making them in 2021. And I had a quick look on uh, some motorcycle sites for sale in New Zealand here. I actually didn't see a lot. So when, they, when you were able to buy them, uh, brand new, they were up around that $11,000. So it actually wasn't too bad. And I think for a two-tone colour, you paid a few hundred dollars more. So I think if you can get one of these second-hand for under, under 10k, um, depending on you know how many kilometres and the condition, you're doing pretty well. Rightio, thanks again, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers! Mm -hmm.